And this is Joseph here. This is 55 true, true incredible mysteries. As far as I know, the research I did between the books and documentaries and, and interviewing folks, um, these are all 100% true stories, except for one of them. I'll tell you about that. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble with the law. These are 55 true incredible stories. And the reason, incredible mysteries, and the reason I come up with this book, I wrote it a while back, is because when I was uh, working out at a place called Camp McCall, I, uh, which is uh, 35, 40, I don't know, miles south of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, it's an isolated compound where they train uh, United States Army Special Forces uh, candidates, Green Beret candidates, if you will. And uh, and I worked out there, and I worked in what's called the TAC section, and we were like drill instructors, and we supported the other committees, and one of the committees was land navigation. The candidates, they go out on their practice day and night land navigation, and once they pa pass that, then they go out on their their graded day and night navigation. Now, what the cadre would do sometimes, they'd mess with the students and they'd tell them ghost stories before they sent them out at night. And sure enough, there'd always be a few to several students that just go over the berm, go out a few hundred meters, and they just hunker down for about three, four hours and then come back and say, uh, I didn't find anything. I didn't find any of my points, my navigation points. And, uh, and they did that because they were scared of the dark. These are grown men now. Uh, and there's a lot of folks that are scared of the dark, you know. So and and things happen. Strange stuff happens. It really does. So I thought I'd write this book so you can read about some of the strange stuff that happens. So if it happens to you, odds are it won't. But if it happens to you, you won't be spazzing out. You won't be overwhelmed with the two greatest enemies of all survival situations, which are fear and panic. Okay. So this exposes you to all that word stuff. Let me go over the table of uh, the table of contents here, so, so you can see what you're getting. And I can, I can, and you're getting from my own experience. I I relate several of my own uh, worst stuff that that's happened to me. So you, so I I know there's something to it. Uh, I don't know. I I didn't expect it. I wasn't asking for it. It just happened. Okay. Uh, let me pick something out here. And we're talking about stuff paranormal. We're talking about any everything from UFOs, uh, Bigfoot, ghosts, and everything in between. Okay, uh, I, I find it's not only interesting, but it's it, to me it's entertaining too at the same time. Uh, here's one. Well, here's a here's a few of them with respect to U.S. Air Force pilots or and other foreign other pilots. Uh, UFO kills U.S. Air Force pilots. U.S. Air Force pilot and plane completely disappear. UFO kills Cuban military pilot. Uh, missing pilot never seen again. I believe that happened down in Australia. Uh, captured live alien ZTs. Uh, then we get into... Let me scroll up here. Sorry about that. Then we get into hibernating toads, frogs. Uh, there's been a lot of reported instances where people or construction workers find these encased frogs, these toads, encased in dirt or hard stuff, and they come too. They're, you know, where they've been in there for hundreds, probably thousands of years, and then they they've been hibernating all that long. And then we get abducted by Bigfoot, held by a gang of Bigfoot critters, doppelgangers. A doppelganger is two. Is a person that can uh, double themselves. So there's two of them, and they can. They're they're hard. They're they're not ghosts. They're just hard bodies. There's just two of them. It's hard to explain. And uh, here here's one of my favorites. Two thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight Chinese soldiers missing, vanished. Okay, and cadet vanished inside West Point. Hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat with aliens. Uh, teleportation of full body double in an instant a couple abducted by aliens uh, here's my author's first mind over matter experience I relate that one to you uh, here's Tibetan monks mind over matter applications and here's two guys that I interviewed mentally disappearing there it is right there mentally disappearing into thin air two people two soldiers they don't know each other one was from Vietnam and 
and one was a, a, a another special forces soldier I interviewed, and he was still excited about it. He told me about what happened to him a few years prior. This is what they taught him in, in the United States Army Sears School. Uh, so he mentally disappeared into thin air and did exactly what they taught him, and, and, and it worked. He, like I said, he was excited about it three, three, two, three years after it happened when he was telling me the story. Uh, Martian visitors, human spark plugs slipping back into time. That's a good story there. And let me tell you this one. Since I know more than most about intelligence, uh, gathering intelligence and intelligence missions, stuff like that, Amelia's Earhart top secret mission, I'm telling you, from what I've researched, her and her, her and her, co her and her navigator didn't go on, didn't go down in the middle of the ocean and, and crash. They, they were captured, and um, only because they were on a top secret mission by the government to collect information on a future enemy of the United States, which was the Empire of Japan. I'm telling you, once you read this, you're going to say, "Yep, yeah, Laden's right." And then I give you points of contact to go to to get more information. Uh, so she was a patriot from the get-go. And she would do anything for the U.S. of uh, United States uh, of America, the government, and uh, they have a. They had a. I'll tell you what it is right now. They had a the most perfect cover for status and most perfect cover for action if they got caught, um, because everybody knew who Mel, Amelia Earhart was. Everybody in the world, you know. But uh, things just didn't go right for her and her pilot. And, and uh, incredible Uri Geller. You heard about him years ago. Been in spoons and stuff. I talk about him. And here's one of my own uh, experiences. I actually saw this. I was excited about it, and I thought, nah, maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm uh, imagining things. Till I actually saw a documentary on this thing years later. Thunderbird, the gigantic bird mystery. I actually saw this when I was going out to Baldwin Forest in Georgia, uh, near Milledgeville, Georgia, uh, when I was working out there. I was going out there to do a recon for a training area and and coordinate with the with the forest forest ranger department there and the, so I can use their land and that's when I saw this thing. Uh, then we get into the Men in Black. Roswell is back. Uh, Mystery Hum, author's own dowsing technique, and this ain't no magic. I actually did this in front of uh, several other soldiers right in front of their eyes. I actually doused for playing cards without even they saw they knew what the card was I didn't didn't never touched the card and I doused for a card as a matter of fact while I'm talking to you my right hand is tingling that's how I did it I put my hand over the card and just kept separating cards separating cards and and uh, my hand tingled over the card that they wanted that or that they picked and I picked it every time anyway uh, uh, Aztec UFO covery uh, U.S. Navy fighter pilots vanish in front of 100 witnesses. This happened down in Puerto Rico. Uh, the man who wouldn't die. Great story. Uh, you, you've heard of UFOs. Well, these are USOs. Unidentified submarine objects. Uh, giant wing creatures. And then I give you several of my own authors through ghost stories. This happened to me uh, when I moved in this house. Uh, they stopped happening. I don't know what the thing was going on. But I was never scared or never frightened. Just weird stuff happened. And it's all stopped. It took about a year, I guess, a year or so, but it all stopped. It's, it hasn't come back. And there's a the story I was telling you about that. It's not true. It's called Exodus to Genesis. Well, let me scroll up here. Sorry about that. It's called Exodus to Genesis, and it's a it's a it sounds like a true story, but it's not. It's it's a it's a teaser of a uh, of a book I'm writing. And uh, that's it for 55 True Incredible Mysteries. Great entertainment. All true except for Exodus to, Exodus to Genesis. Very worthy of attention. You want, once you're exposed to this stuff, if something happens to you, then you won't be hit in the face with it. You won't be overcome with fear and panic. You won't be a, uh, like those Special Forces candidates I was talking about, uh, scared of the dark. Sure, everybody's scared of the dark to a certain extent, but, uh, you know, uh, most of that stuff out there, if it's there, it ain't going to hurt you. You know, uh, uh, so this is very worthy of attention. I hope you get this ebook, and uh, and that's it for this one. Go ahead and go to the next video. Thank you.